Hello friends, DK this side. Although the US stock market overall structure looks bullish, but there are some questions that arise. Is the prices in the US stock market is overextended? Is there any sign of loss of upside momentum or diminishing momentum on upside? These questions are very, very important. And if it is there, then we might see some correction in the upcoming week. So all these questions shall be answered in this video. In this video, we will present the NASDAQ 100 and S&P 500 blueprints, which will give the support and resistance area or zones for the upcoming week. Besides that, we'll take an outlook of the stock market as to how the market has performed over the past week. We'll check the prevailing market sentiments so that we know how the market participants are behaving in the overall US stock market. Friends, do not forget to like this video, subscribe the channel, hit the notification bell for updates. Let's begin. Broader U.S. stock market remained almost flat. S&P 500 in the last week closed marginally bearish by 0.13% only. However, there was a significant fall in the Nasdaq 100. It fell by 1.17% on a week-to-week -week basis. But Dow Jones Industrial Average Index remained almost flat with a marginal fall of only 0.02%. Let us now check the prevailing sentiment in the U.S. stock market in the last week. If we check the fear and greed index with respect to S&P 500, that represents the broader U.S. stock market, its current reading is 70. It implies that the market sentiment is greedy. Now let us check the market momentum. And in order to check the market momentum, We'll compare the present situation or placement of S&P 500 with respect to the simple moving average 125 period. If you look at this diagram, S&P 500 is currently far away on upside with respect to the simple moving average 125 period. So this indicator also indicates that the market is extremely greedy. Options are the contract that gives the investors the right to buy or sell stocks or index. So now we will check the put call ratio. We know it by PCR. So currently, if you look at the put call ratio and a five day average against S&P 500, it currently is at 0.78, far below the one level. So according to this particular indicator, the market is looking greedy. Let us further check the market volatility. The most well-known volatility index is VIX against S&P 500. So currently if we see and compare it with the simple moving average 50 period, VIX is almost quite in vicinity of simple moving average 50 period. So this doesn't indicate much about the market sentiments. It indicates that the market sentiments is looking quite neutral. Now we will undertake the technical analysis of the various stock market index from the US stock market. This is the price chart of S&P 500 index in weekly time frame. This index in the last week closed at 5117.1 if you look at the price structure there was almost a parabolic rise in this index and hardly there is any correction 
This was the minor correction which has taken place, which was quite shallow in nature. This was another correction which took place. But now if you look at the price action, price is currently too far from the simple moving average or uh, EMA 21 or SMA 20 period, which means the price is quite overextended currently. Look at the price action in last two weeks. There is a formation of a spinning top almost resembling to doji kind of formation which indicates there is a loss of upside momentum diminishing momentum on upside can be observed by the very price action in the market if you look at the last week candle it has failed to create another high so finally s p 500 all time high remains at 5189 point Two six, which it has made in the week that commenced on 4th of March 2024. Let me superimpose some of the technical studies. Look at the price action. Earlier all time high was here. It has made over here. So it was at 4818.62 which it has made in January 2020. So there was a breakout of the surrounding pattern and the price went up. Price was trading in the rising price channel. It has also given a breakout of this rising price channel, upper fiber of the rising price channel, but there is a lack of upside momentum. So, considering the very fact of the price structure, price is looking quite overextended. Let us go to the daily price chart and look at the price action. This was the trend line which was acting as a dynamic multiple touch points, multiple touch points. Now, in the last trading session of the last week, market opened a gap down and finally it has given a breakdown of this rising trend line after a long period of time. What does it indicate? That there is a weakness in the market. However, the bullish trend remains intact. The price structure is still higher highs and higher lows kind of a structure. In markup phase, such corrections are quite normal. So, if we look at the price action, what we can find, this is the area which is very, very important where the price consolidated for several days and it has a confluence of EMA 21 as well. So, 5077 to 5088 is an immediate demand area in S&P 500 or a support zone. On upside move, this area will act as a great resistance. This is the area where there was a formation of a nearly evening star and a breakdown area of this rising trend line. So 5,142, 5,150 has become a supply area in this index. Now you see the price is struggling to go past this level made an attempt several days to go past but ultimately it could not sustain and there was a gap down opening in this index that is why initially i said the possibility of some more correction cannot be ruled out in the stock market if you look at the historical price action in the recent time price has corrected and took support at ema 21 here too it has done the same here too it has done the same so EMA 21 currently reads at 5089 level. So this level is very important. 5077 to 5088 remains the support zone. And if a deeper correction or a healthy correction takes place, the my worry is the existence of a gap at 4983. This is the gap which has uh, S&P 500 created on 22nd February and if this gap gets filled then probably the price may fall to the level of 4900 to 4983 with a confluence of EMA 55. Now let us move to the price chart of Nasdaq 100. Now we refer to the price chart of Nasdaq 100 index in weekly time frame. This index in the last week finally closed at 17,808.25. So there was a significant fall in the tech stocks in the US stock market. And this index on a week to week basis fell by 1.17%. Here too, we had a breakout of a rounding pattern. 
if you see this was the uh, all time high it has made earlier so let me superimpose some of the technical studies to further explain what we can see it was all time high was 16764.86 which is it has made in the month of november 2021 so there was a breakout then the price was trading in a uh, rising kind of structure so there was a breakout of the rising wedge also over here but look at the price action in the recent time back to back last two weeks the market has corrected there is a lack of upside momentum which is clearly seen the price is quite over extended from ema 21 or volume weighted moving average 21 period and currently ema 21 and volume weighted moving average almost coincide with the neckline of the uh, rounding pattern breakout which has taken place so immediate support could be this trend line rising trend line which was earlier acting as a resistance which is a upper fiber of the rising wedge so this could be a very good support area in a range of uh, 17356 to 17482 17482 is significant because there is an existence of a gap uh, we will go to the daily price chart and i'll try to explain it so on upside move what could be the potentiality this is the area where the price struggled it was a breakout over here but there was no follow through of this breakout and hence uh, this area becomes the important supply area let us go to the daily price chart and understand the price action here too it was a rising trend line which was acting as a dynamic support price has taken support here taken support here taken support area but now there is a breakdown of this rising trend line. now based on the price structure as i told that there is an existence of a gap over here can we see the gap here so 17482 becomes a good support however this area is additional uh, confluence that is ema 55 is also coinciding with the upper fiber of this rising price structure that is a rising wedge structure so this area becomes a good support from 17356 to 17482 this is the area of support coming back to the further price action in the last two weeks us stock market weekly analysis we come up with uh, this video every saturday so we discussed about the support of 17,850. But now the price is currently trading below this important area. This was a good support. Here there was a resistance. Multiple support can be seen over here. So there is a little weakness in NASDAQ country. However, the bullish trend remains intact. Can we see here price has failed to go past this area. Multiple tops can be seen. And now the price has gone below the lowest point of this structure which means there is a breakout of this box kind of structure there is a breakout of this box kind of structure so if i calculate the target on the basis of this box kind of structure in terms of the how low it can fall so uh, it can fall to the level of 17500 and then to possibly 17384 so the demand area that we arrived in the weekly price chart seems to be reasonably okay considering the overall price action with a confluence of ema 55 and upper fiber of the rising wedge structure and this gap which will provide the support to nasdaq 100 where could be the potential resistance can we see here price rejection and this is the area where the candle gap down so 18,019 to 18,155 now becomes the resistance area in fact this rising trend line which was providing the support to uh, nasdaq 100 will act as a resistance on upside move which has a confluence of ema 21 and volume weighted moving averages so now let us move to the price chart of dow jones industrial average index this is the weekly price chart of dow jones industrial average index this index in the last week finally closed at 38714.7 so it remained almost flat on a week to week basis 
this was the area which has made earlier all time high at 36,952. So there was a breakout of a rounding pattern and price was trading quite high. This is the area where EMA 21 edges. So price by seeing the price structure is looking overextended. Now, if we see the overall structure and look at the price action in the recent time frame, what has happened? In this, the weakness is a little less. We can see this important area where there is a multiple support. So 38,500 is an immediate support considering the large lower shadows kind of formation multiple times on the weekly price chart. And the major support exists at 38,100 where the price has taken support with a, a large upper shadow and lower shadow in this particular spinning top. Now let us go to the daily price chart. If you look at the daily price chart, Price is respecting currently this trend line. Price is taken support, taken support, taken support, taken support. So the price is currently resting quite in vicinity of the support area. So considering the price action, there is a multiple support. Immediate support is 38,500. Once if this support is broken down, there will be breakout of this a small double top kind of pattern with a lowest point here. Then the price may further fall to the level of 38,000 to 38,100. So there is a loss of upside momentum and the price is failing to go past this important supply area. So immediate supply area is 38,825 to 38,900 considering the price structure over here. And even if the price goes past, it will provide resistance at 39,100 to 39,000. 200. So yeah. technical analysis and various studies do indicate that the there is a lack of upside momentum or diminishing effect of the upside momentum. So there might be possibility of a correction or market may remain sideways. What do you think about uh, the S&P 500, NASDAQ 100? What is the possibility in the next week, whether it will correct further or it will be a sideways movement. I'll be expecting your comments in the comment section of this video. Thank you very much for watching. Looking forward to meet you very, very soon.